Okay, some quick thoughts on last episode or this episode, basically. Episode number five. I actually like this episode. This episode was okay. It's a seven. That means it passed. Part of the reason it passed, well, first and foremost, they brought back the Jimmy character. Made him actually go through a plot that I can actually follow. Basically, Jimmy needs, he's not a bum-ass nigga like all these other heist boys that live with their moms. He actually needs to make a living on top of his pipe dreams, which is part of his struggle. So now he's out there working as a dentist, and that's like me working as, well, he's, he's not working as a dentist. He's in the streets, basically telling people to sh show up get their dental appointments, things of that nature. That'd be like me doing that. Jimmy doesn't have the best teeth in the world, and I definitely don't have the sweetest smile, but whatevs. He needs to make that living because he's actually got to worry about rent money. He doesn't have a mom, unlike JP, that's on his case when the rent isn't paid. It's on him. It's all on him. Because of that, he has to go in part-time for his baseball amateur thing. There, There's, there's a mid-Atlantic tournament and competition. And if he can actually make it and get a good impression, then that will give him a pro contract which he naturally wants. He tells Eliza, his girlfriend, that he's struggling and he definitely wants his dreams to come true. And she decides that she's going to pay the rent. So, ha <laughs> ha, your girlfriend's paying your rent. You're either really alpha for that or you're really fucked. And in his case, he's probably really fucked. He actually shows up. The coach says, I understand what you're going through, but these guys have been regulars, so you're going to sit this one out. He tells his girlfriend this. She's like, I understand. All in between this, JP's involved as the middleman as usual, and he's also involved with one of the characters, uh, Reyna and her storyline. Reyna living with, is living with Manny, actually, I believe. And she's trying to do the singer thing. The good thing is that they're introducing this, not in episode one, but here in episode five. Which means that we don't get bombarded with her shit. <clears throat> her pipe dreams. That would have made episode one disasters. Imagine, oh, this person is aspiring to be a singer and then we get to see them in the stupidest fight scene ever. But that's not what we get here, um... JP's basically saving everything. You include JP and uh, I slash Autobahn everywhere, and it does save it because he does have the voice for it. He can speak. He has that it factor. And a lot of his speeches do come off more raw because they would sound like movie quotes minus the bleeped out cursing at odd times and the filler words. But other than that, he basically works. Uh, again, this episode isn't perfect. They still got this Ludwin subplot. At least they're trying to make Ludwin appear as an antagonistic asshole. Which they should have done a long time ago. They switch from him being this sympathetic character that's dealing with all this bullshit to a guy that's just messing around playing games with someone that wants more than to just play games. And does Frankie deserve this shit? Being not friend zoned, but friends with benefits zoned by Ludwin, who, by the way, is a character that I immediately wanted to punch in the face or hurt in some physical fashion. But here we are, 
seeing him as the cocky douchebag. Now, granted, at the very least, he's putting Frankie somewhere other than creepy troll bitch zone. But you know what? I ain't gonna hate. I ain't gonna fucking hate. Because next episode, this is where their conflict actually picks up with her passive-aggressive poem based on the preview. So that's basically my thoughts on episodes. From episode one all the way to now, every episode could basically be summarized as here's this guy trying to showcase his or her talent. And on this B side, you have scenes where it's like, how's your relationship with Ludwin? How's it going with Frankie? With Ludwin basically having a dead, puffy cheek scowl, and Frankie basically smirking a little, or grinning like an idiot. This show is fucked up, but I actually like this episode. Why? Because it, at the very least, it got me what I wanted. No rooftop parties at all. It's strictly indoor. As it should be. And. There's elements of realism. It isn't just. I'm talented. No it's more than just. Jimmy being talented at baseball. It's him actually having to deal with real problems. Or real scripted problems. I don't know if it's scripted or not. I don't really care. But there you go. That's my thoughts on the episode.